first half, it seemed like the D-line pretty much did whatever it wanted. Why do you think you guys came out playing so well? Yeah, well, um, you know, obviously this game is divided up in three phases, special teams, offense, and defense. Uh, but when, within the defense itself, you know, the defense line takes so much pride and, uh, you know, just being disruptive, you know, making plays, being the, the most uh, disruptive unit on the field. And uh, we practice like that. We practice hard. We practice so hard, actually. And uh, we just transition it to the game. How do you envision this team bouncing back from from back to back losses now? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, that's that's who we are. That's we're K State. You know, a little bit of adversity has never affected us in a negative way whatsoever. No one points fingers, and no one gets down on themselves. We just go to work even harder the next week. You guys are normally a team that, um, you know, scores on defense, takes advantage of the other team's errors. Is it kind of weird to see the other team score on a scoop, scoop six today? Yeah, definitely. And, uh, you, know, um, you know, things happen, but, you know, as a defensive player and a defensive side of the ball, you know, uh, you can't control what the offense does, can't control what special teams does. You just have to go out there and do our job. And uh, whatever adversity is in front of us, just get off the field. All right, Wyatt, thanks. I appreciate it. Thank you. John? I guess I don't want to harp on it too terribly much, Wyatt, but along those same lines, is there some frustration when your quarterback fumbles the ball, drops right in their lap for a touchdown, you get a strip sack, and it winds up in one of their offensive linemen's laps? Yeah, it's definitely frustrating uh, because, you know, uh, in so many ways. But, uh, you know, I give all credit to Will. You know, he's such a hard worker. He does everything right on and off the field. Um, you know, even the best people make mistakes like that sometimes. And it's not like he's doing that in practice, doing that on a consistent basis. So it's not a problem he has. It obviously just happened at the wrong time, you know, for us. And uh, like I said, you know, if it was anyone but Will, you know, I'd probably be a little bit more upset. But it's Will Howard. You know, he's such a good kid. And uh, you see, it's obviously seeing something like that sucks. But uh, that's football for you. You know, bad things happen. You just have to respond to them. Just how disruptive do you feel like you guys are being as a defensive line in general right now? Yeah, like I said, um, you know, the defense line, you know, we take so much pride in being disruptive, especially, you know, the starting four, uh, me, Duke, uh, Eli Huggins, and Drew Wiley. Um, you know, we, like I said, you know, the defense line at practice, hardest, hardest workers on the team, hardest pra practice players on the team, you know, we take it so seriously because we want to make plays in big games. Uh, you know, people always say big time players make big time plays in big time games, and that's something that we pride ourselves on. And, uh, you know, obviously, you know, it's, um, you know, the main thing for us is transitioning how hard we work in practice, transitioning it, it to the game on Saturdays. Appreciate it, Wyatt. Thanks. Thank you. Ryan. Hey, Wyatt. When, uh, when Justin Hughes was in there a little bit ago, uh, you know, I asked him about, like, what was the biggest difference between what Oklahoma State did offensively in the third quarter versus all the success you had against them in the first half. And he said that he felt like they forced the issue and maybe you guys have Defensively, made a couple of mistakes because you got lax. Do you do you agree with that? Is that kind of how you saw it too? Um, I mean, I wouldn't say lax is a word, mm -hmm. but I do agree. Things we practice day in and day out on a daily basis. You know, we didn't transition that uh, into the game, especially the second half. You know, tackling a basic crunch play, basic zone play. Uh, uh, the tight end tries to cut out the um, try to cut out the defensive end from the C gap. Uh, either the free safety linebacker corner doesn't matter who it is, you know, comes down off the table and makes it makes it easy tackle just like that. Uh, tackling just the main thing that killed us, you know, we just need to get better at that. And uh, that's like I said, that's just a little detail that we practice every single day, every single day in practice. And uh, like I said, we just have to be better at transitioning it from practice into the game. Last one here, Michael. Yeah, Wyatt, was this the defense's best performance of the year? Well, uh, you know, holding them to. You know, I want to say nine rushing yards and odd something passing yards in the first half. That was definitely a good feeling, uh, especially if arguably one of the best running backs in the nation. Um, but obviously, you know, we still gave up 13 points. Um, you know, obviously when the offense is struggling, you know, that's one thing you have to do is compensate for them and play better and, uh, you know, keep the playing field level. So late, uh, just getting off the field third down and uh, getting them the ball as much as possible. And uh, obviously, like I said, if we would have tackled better, a lot of those big explosive plays wouldn't have happened and they wouldn't have got momentum. Uh, in the second half, but I did. I do think we played very well. Not saying that we didn't, but you know we can always play better. We're never satisfied.